for us as exiled, as it were, Christians in a post-Christian experience, what ought we to do but to fall back upon our most dangerous story of all? Not the story about the day when our church had a choir of 500 people or not the great stories about how this church used to be packed one day or not the stories of nostalgia like the good old days growing up a Baptist in you know, Georgia somewhere. Nostalgia will move us nowhere. But we go back to break bread and to drink wine and we tell this most radical and dangerous story that God, that Yahweh, inhabited flesh became one of us in order to redeem us. The most radical and dangerous story that we have is the story of the gospel. And we tell it like it's a kid's bedtime story. There should be no such thing as children's bedtime story uh, Bibles, right? I mean, imagine that. Okay, honey, and then Jesus said, I hate your mother and your father. (laughs) Good night, off to sleep now. Or, and then he said, now go and sell everything and give it to the poor. Good night, sleep tight, darling. Imagine these kids like, "Uh." These are dangerous stories, are they not? That actually Yahweh, king and ruler of all, considers it possible to inhabit human flesh and to live among us.